and I have been with I have been with City College for the past 22 years, 15 years at the Mission Center, and I did a few years before that with the preschool department that we have. So I was a preschool teacher and a director, and then I moved over into the dean's office for medical reasons. I um, am happy to be here today, and I'm glad I get to see and meet new people. And should we get started? Let's do it. Yeah. Thank All right. You. Okay. So on my screen. Oh, okay. Open doesn't. There we go. All right. So we're going to do a snapshot of a snapshot of academic and programs and services that we have mostly at the Mission Center. There's my contact information on our address. So we're at 1125 Valencia and our phone number is 415-920-6000. Now you can call that number during the day, usually from nine to 12, I answer that phone most days. So you will get a live person. If you don't, you need to leave a number and a name and please leave it slowly so that I can call you back. Lots of times people leave them very quickly and I'm not able to return their phone call. So you can call at any time or you can email at any time at esotomayor at ccsf.edu. And also my contact information is at the end of the, is on the last slide. So what does City College offer? Well, City College San Francisco offers over 300 degree and certificate programs. You can earn a degree or certificate for personal or professional growth. So back in the day, I did go to City College so that I could become a preschool teacher. And I completed all my steps. And what we do is we will give you an educational plan if it's for a personal or even professional program. So we also offer free tuition for San Francisco residents. And at this time, all courses are online except for a very, very, very few. And we're not sure what the spring will look like yet, all depending on the Department of Health of San Francisco. And we have tutoring for all subjects which is the Learning Assistance Center, which is available even now during, uh, while we're closed. And we have the working, ad uh, working Adult Degree Program, which is a cohort, a group of students that stay together for a couple of years and work together as a group, evenings and weekends to get their degrees. So next are departments and classes that we have. So our Dean's office, when we are open as usual and have business as usual actually, um, is open to the public, walk in at any time, and it's in room 461 in the Bartlett building. At the Mission Center, we have two buildings. One that used to be 106 Bartlett, which is probably where most people are familiar with coming in to the old school. And we have the front building, which is 1125 Valencia Street. And it took 34 years for us to open the uh, 1125 Valencia Street building. It took 35 years of, of blood, sweat and tears to get that building open and we're very proud. We also have the largest Aztec calendar in the Northern United States on the front of our building. And we are very proud of that. And we always encourage people to come by and take pictures and visit us. We also have a couple of very beautiful murals inside our entrance. So we have our transitional studies department, which is GED, high school diploma, and high set. And we have child development program, which we have classes in Spanish at our center, and visual media design, which will get you ready for a graphic um, a graphics uh, career in San Francisco. And actually, uh, visual media design has been held up in high praise. And we also have the Puente program. The Puente program is another cohort where you work with a group of um, other students and you take your 1A and your 1B English classes with them. We have non-credit ESL and literacy classes that are free. And we have career preparation classes, some that are free. And the programs and services we have at the Mission Center, we have our admissions and enrollment department, which is where Francisco works. We have academic counseling, we have our disabled students office. We have a family resource center, which provides some childcare and we also have a preschool. So as I said earlier, we have our GED, HiSET and ESL 
but we also have the testing service, which is only available at the Mission Center, nowhere else in the Bay Area. And we have a Library and Learning Assistance Center. So our library is on the fourth floor and the Learning Assistance Center is right next to it. But if you need a tutoring during this fall semester, you can log on and in the search put Learning Assistance Center and you can get help. So for career preparation courses, we have the accounting and bookkeeping certificate. Again, the working adult degree program, our child development classes in Spanish, our construction certificate, and our Microsoft Office certificate. For other classes, you would have to look online or you can come visit us on August 17th, 18th and 19th, the 24th, the 25th and the 26th. We will be open for three days each week. Tuesday and Wednesday from 9 to 1, and on Thursday from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. I have that at the end also. So for the Transitional Studies Department, they have a high school degree diploma program and the GED and the high school high set program, as well as a recovery program, credit recovery. The programs include hybrid and traditional classroom-based courses in reading, writing, mathematics, and specific subjects based on your needs. All classes are free of charge and are available day, evening, and Saturday mornings. All class classes are offered online for the fall 2021 semester. And then our transitional studies and high school diploma program. So you can earn your high school diploma and get high school credits to satisfy your high school diploma requirements. Those classes are offered after 4 p.m. And there are 160 high school credits required to graduate. And we have faculty advisors. You will be required to bring a transcript, create an uh, educational plan, revise your schedule to your specific needs. And we have Julita McNichol, her contact information is there and Kate Gugutas, her contact information is also there. And for more information, you can click on the link. Am I going backwards? What happened? Oh, okay, sorry. The HiSET test and the GED exams are two different tests that students can take as an alternative to receiving a high school diploma. Both certificates are recognized by schools, vocational training programs, and employers as an equivalent to the high school diploma. As an example, the high set exam includes the following five subject areas, language arts, reading, language arts, writing, mathematics, science, and social studies. And there is a link there. The high set and GED exams are only available at the Mission Center. We're very proud to house them. So how to apply to City College of, of San Francisco. For new credit students, you would go online, go to ccsf.edu and apply as a new credit student. If you have been to City College before and you have not been in a couple of years or in a year, you would need to reapply so that um, we can, uh, after one year, we don't drop your information. We, you keep the same ID number, but you need to reapply to get back into the system so that we can send you registration dates and other updated information. Then you need to complete the online orientation, attend, attend a student counseling before you can register for classes, and then readmit students who have been there from, like I said before, who have been there for more than one year must reapply. And then students who have completed the online orientation and new student counseling do not need to repeat those steps. For non-credit students, you can submit an application online under non-credit students, or you can come in person when the centers are open. You can take a placement test and meet with an advisor. So for ESL, you would take a placement test. They would level your English so that we put you in the right level, and then you could start. So classes, again, for the fall of 2021 are all online, and they do them through Zoom. Non-credit ESL and literacy classes. Non-credit English as a second language and literacy classes are free. Beginning intermediate and advanced general English classes are held in listening, speaking, reading, and writing. Citizenship classes are held at the Mission and Chinatown centers. 
Special classes in conversation, pronunciation, introduction to academic ESL are available in the form of credit courses. How to apply for financial aid as a documented or undocumented student. The first step is submit the FAFSA at fafsa.edu.gov. It's, I'm sorry, fafsa.ed.gov. So it's fafsa.ed.gov. Okay, I'm looking to Francisco to clarify that. The free application for federal student aid so we have our identification numbers for City College of San Francisco and the identification number for the California Dream Act for undocumented and non-resident students. So doing so connects you to all kinds of aid, grants, loans, work study, and scholarships from federal, state, and city college sources. Even if you think you may not be eligible, you should always apply because there always are funding out there. How to register for non-credit courses. So you can fill out the application either online or in person when we are open. When we are open, it is a paper application two-sided and we do have them in Spanish, Chinese, and English. And at the end of the application online, you will be given a student ID number. You need to write down that student ID number or take a picture of it because that is how we will always identify you. Your ID number will never change. And once you fill out a paper or online application, you never ever need to fill out another one unless you're going for credit courses. So you're like, I've been gone for 10 years. I need to fill out the application. No, you just need to bring in your ID if you don't no longer have your ID number and we will look you up. But if you're applying for credit courses, then you will need to apply as a credit student. So there's our in-person registration form. It's very simple. You would put your last name, first name, middle, your student ID number, your birth date, the year of the of the year of classes that you're taking. So here you would do number one or number two, which is to add or drop. And then the CRN number, which is a five digit number that identifies the classes and then what the class is we would help you fill out the rest. And then of course we would need your date and your signature. So registration for credit courses is another thing. After you have applied online at ccsf.edu credit courses application, you would be emailed your registration date and in time you will end time. Log, then you will log into your MyRAM portal to start registering, but you must complete all the orientation steps first, otherwise you will not be able to register. So you would log into, I shortened it, ramid.ccsf.edu. And there are two videos here that you can watch for non-credit courses and for credit courses of how to log on. So there in the middle is how to log on for credit courses. Oh, for non-credit courses, forgive me. For non-credit courses, and we also, so for credit courses, uh, a lot of students have been having trouble logging on and registering for classes. So we do encourage you to either come through our Zoom hours and our specialists can help you, or you can call the 415-920-6000 number and I'd be able to help you. So I'll share our Zoom hours with you. So our Zoom hours are Monday through Friday. So on Monday, they're from 10 a.m. to 12 a.m. to 12 p.m. and 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. And that's Monday through Thursday. So that's 10 to 12 p.m., 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. On Tuesday, we have additional hours of 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. And you can reach us at the number above or you can go on to Zoom and put in the number 313-208-3318 and then press three and then press pound again. And then also I like to encourage people to call the 415-920-6000 number. Um, I do answer the phone and I'm available. 
So there are hours for all the different campuses that will be open in the next few weeks for online uh, for in person registration. Um, if anybody has any questions, please. Uh, is this only for this fall semester? I kind of like interested in the next semester. The, I mean, the fall, uh, spring 2022. Is, is... This is only for fall, uh, spring information yeah. classes, and whether or not we'll be open in person has not been uh, said yet. So the schedule uh, comes okay. out, I believe, in November. Ah, okay, spring. thank you. Yeah. Francisco? No, I was going to say the, uh, the um, uh, different uh, college campuses are open, but this, the openings for non-credit students is uh, for credit. The registration has to be online. Okay. Those are the dates that you, yes. So the all classes is going to be online. Yes, for yes. the for the fall semester. For fall semester, okay. So, do you do you know anything about the, the program for HVAC program? No, I'm sorry, do not. You would contact the Evans campus, and they're on there. There's there are 3400 Evans Avenue. I can look up their phone number if you give me just one moment. I can get that to you. Yeah, so um, Juliana, if you can help me that if I if I miss anything. Absolutely, please. yeah. Okay. Um, and Elisa's gonna get us the number, so yes, um, yes, I can put you. it in the chat to you too. So the phone number is, come on. <clears throat> 415 550 4440. Perfect. I took that down to Omar so I can send that to you. Thank you. Absolutely. What program? Okay. Sorry. So are, are, yeah. Do you know any do you have information about this program? Like did, did they need um like high school diploma or what program no, is I that? don't believe you need a high school diploma, but I wouldn't have any other information. You would have to speak directly with them. I, okay. I, our, our different centers are like little states. And mm -hmm. so we all have our different programs and, and usually are just familiar with information within our center. Okay, great. Thank you, Alicia. You're welcome. That was the HVAC center, Francisco, that he's asking, uh, HVAC program, yes. sorry, that he's asking about. Thank you. Uh, I have another question. Yes. Uh, if I apply for the credit, uh, credit ones, and do they give me like an I twenty or the I twenty? If you're applying yeah. for a foreign students, oh, okay. Foreign student is for uh, that that visa is a visa for for uh, to apply for you to allow to stay in the state, to to allow to stay in, in the United States as a foreign student, mm -hmm. but you have to yes. the documents required to for you to get the i20 oh, okay got it oh thank you you're welcome also i live in san francisco but i i'm not sure like uh the residential like um that you said like a uh, sf residence can be free right so how how does it work do you want to take that? Uh, that one, the, the residents, you talk about the tuition, right? If you live in San Francisco, yes, taking credit courses and status, you are you have a legal status, then you, and you've been in California for over a year, then you're to uh, and you live in San Francisco, then your tuition is free. But that depends on your status. Uh, if, if you're planning to apply for I-20 as a foreign student, that doesn't apply to you. That's up only for resident or, uh, or U.S. citizen in, in California here. Well, uh, okay. the status of in United States. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. And I can do better than a disguise, grandmother. Uh, <laughs> Go ahead, Monica. 
Hi, sorry, I have a question. I um I'm enrolled for this semester, but I have a hold because um I have like a $26 hold. But um for people that need assistance with paying that, do you know where we can where who to reach about um getting an invoice to show the organization that's willing to help me pay for that? Like if uh, I, can I believe you could uh, go to registration office. Let me get you um, their email. Remove the hole in your record. Is that stopping you to register for fall? I'm sorry. Have it's I registered? Stopping for you fall? to register for fall? Well, it, it they removed the hold for me to like look at the classes, and so I thought I was like registered for some. But because I didn't pay the $26, the classes are full now. So I guess I have to like still show up for the first day and see if people, don't, I don't know oh. how they're gonna do it this year. So because I didn't pay the $26, but I'm on my EDDs all on like hold right now since April. So I don't have any, I don't have any way to pay it until I, whenever EDD feels like, you know, processing my stuff. Yeah, uh, you should have contacted them because uh, what they, they can do for you, they could have removed the hole and you could have gone um, online, registered, and then later on, they could pull the hole back on. I did, and he said I still had to pay it when I emailed him like a couple weeks ago, like almost a month ago. Really? Yeah. Oh, sorry. No, um, it's okay. I just, I, I mean, I get what he's saying, but um, I didn't know. I found an organization that's willing to help me pay that $26 for me to... Um, you know, so I'm still gonna like today. I'm gonna look over my schedule again, and you know my student plan to see what classes are available. And obviously, if I'm gonna take whatever's available, but um, I well, want. I, I, I'm sorry, but I think you. Uh, well, I could give you the contact per, uh, the contact um, office for you to reach them. Okay. No, uh, they could. Um, the whole and you could still register for classes for next week because I think you have until Thursday next week to register. Okay. Yeah, no, that's fine. Thank you. I do appreciate it. Um, can I share the screen so I can show her? Yeah, should stop sharing. Uh, this is the screen. Uh, for registration office, technically they they do have a um a you could attend their Zoom hours also, and you can click here to go to them, or you can give me even a call as well on the Zoom. But I to get to there is easy. Um, basically you can go just to go the same website, City College website, click administration. I mean, so I'm sorry, I'm sharing registration. And it says here, um, uh, where, where there I go, sorry, here. And it will bring you to that screen and then it's at the bottom, registration office. That's basically, uh, you need to contact them and, and tell you um, the issue that you're having. Awesome, Monica, if you um, need to get into a class and you're not able to, I would email the teachers. Thank you. You're welcome. Great questions, y'all. Omar, did you have another one? Uh, yes. So did I need to um, continue to finish the register? Do you want me to share the screen or just because my account, it's on hold. The number we, we apply for the, uh, the college. So. I think there's something I need to uh, uh, finish it, but but now, Alisa give us a number that I mean we need like the call or contact. Did uh, we still need to finish that? Do you want me to share the screen the emails? Sure, just make uh, just make sure it's not any personal information. I don't I don't want you to. Uh, yeah, it. let me let me take a look real right quick. <laughs> Thank you, Alisa and Francisco, for the personalized help here. This is really great. Sure. Yeah, there is no information. Let's see. Let's see how to show that. 
Okay, did where did I go for share? I forgot you guys. Okay, no worries. It's at the bottom of the screen. There should be a green button that says share screen. Oh, yeah, they didn't say this. Is, okay, there you go. Desktop. Desktop. Yeah. 